everybody, Mr. Irwin here, the band director at Hillgrove, where I've been for 15 years. And we just wanted to make a video to welcome you back to school, to get you a little bit more information about what digital band is gonna look like this year. But first, a little bit about me. Uh, I've been married for 15 years. My wife, Mrs. Irwin, uh, teaches Spanish here at Hillgrove. And we have two boys. One is an eighth grader at Loving Good. He plays the trombone. And our fifth grader goes to Kemp, and he's a baseball player. And one more thing about me, I'm a huge Georgia Bulldogs fan. I went to UGA, I played the trumpet in the Red Coat Band, and we're just very excited to get back to school. And I'm gonna turn it over to our new assistant director, Mr. Jeremy Lumpkin. Hello everybody, my name is Mr. Jeremy Lumpkin, and I'm extremely excited to be your new assistant director of bands. Uh, I'm in my 10th year of teaching. Prior to teaching um, here, I was the head director at Collinsville High School. I am married to Michelle Lumpkin, that's my beautiful wife. I have a two-year-old daughter named Devin Lumpkin and a three-year-old Golden Doodle. A little bit about myself, I'm a saxophone player. I graduated from the University of Tennessee and then went on and did a master's degree at Cincinnati Conservatory. Again, I'm extremely excited to be here. This is a dream come true and I can't wait to meet all of you. Next up, we just want to tell you guys a little bit about what classes are going to look like. Rather than your traditional do the same thing every day until we get good at it band method, we felt we were gonna change it up for a little bit of different scenario in remote learning. So for our wind band classes, um, on Mondays, we're gonna work on the musical individual skills, our daily drills, scales, counting exercises, learning to read better, take care of our instruments, etc. On Tuesdays, we're bringing back Habit Tuesday. We're gonna have discussions that center around social emotional learning and leadership and character building activities. On Wednesday, you know, will be your enrichment and extra help day and we'll have lots of opportunities for you to participate in or extra help sessions um, depending on what boat you happen to find yourself in. On Thursdays and Fridays, we're gonna do literature. We're gonna listen to literature, we're gonna learn new literature. You're gonna have lots of opportunity to go out and choose your own adventure um, in terms of logging in and checking out new stuff and playing new stuff um, on a digital platform that we're gonna create. Um, and then we'll also, for students, especially students that excel, we'll have opportunities for you to break into small groups and explore solos and different aspects of playing your instrument, um, depending on how that goes as the semester progresses. New this year, um, we're, we wanted to do a percussion class anyway, and it's turning out to be a perfect scenario for remote learning. Uh, Mr. Romanowski and I are gonna team up and teach the percussion class. And for the percussionists on Monday, we're gonna spend a lot of time on technique, both on snare drumming and on four mallet technique. And then on Tuesdays with the percussion, we'll do SEL as well, social emotional character building. Wednesday, lots of student choice musical enrichment activities will be available, but also extra help. On Thursday, we're gonna dive into literature and world music in our percussion um, classes where we're gonna do more reading, learn about more world music, hand drumming, ethnic percussion, discovering new music and new grooves. And on Friday, we're gonna do what we call New Horizons. And we're gonna spend a good deal of time working on, on drum set technique, but also learning about famous drum set players, famous bands, and how, how drum set really found itself into the mainstream and just kind of discovering new artists and new types of music and we're just really excited about the percussion class. All right, so now what we need to do is set up your rehearsal space and you need to make sure that you find an area that is not your bed, somewhere that you can make your own. Um, the space needs to be very well lit. You can get uh, a desk light at Amazon or anything that can make it to where I can see uh, not only just your face, but your embouchure, um, your fingers for dexterity and other things like that when we, when we ask for them. Uh, you need to make sure that you have enough room to where if you're sitting that you can um, have good posture or if you're standing that you're not compressed to where you can't open up, let the lungs expand and create your best sound possible. Um, and then don't be afraid to personalize your space. If you want to hang uh, some pictures of your favorite musician or what, what, what have you um, as motivation and just to make the space your own, you can do that. You can also change the background to make it to where you're playing on Mars if that's your motivation. Just please make sure that your background and everything as well as your attire is school appropriate. The things that you're going to need, you're obviously going to need your instrument. Uh, well, I would like for you to have a chair just in case we ask you to sit down. Um, you obviously need a stand and we sent out a survey to, to, for you to let us know if you need a stand or not. 
um, you need your sheet music or whatever we're working on so that you can be active with us if we're doing synchronous or even asynchronous things. You need to make sure you have everything there, that way you're not running back and forth. You need to make sure that your space is somewhat secluded to where you know your pets don't run through or your little siblings come and bother you. Um, and even if your parents are there, um, you wanna make sure that you can just be in a space where it's just learning happening and learning only. Um, you need to have a pencil for when you're writing um, in your music. And then you also need to make sure that you have extra reeds, woodwind instruments. I'd like to have at least five, that way you can rotate them. And we'll talk about some plastic reed options later on. But those are the things you need for your practice space. And lastly, for our percussion students, for your space, the same rules apply. Enough space to operate, a, a space to stand up and make sure it's well lit so we can see what's going on. For your materials, one pair of concert snare drum sticks. We recommend the Vic Firth SD1 General snare drum stick. A practice pad to practice on. Again, we recommend the heavy hitter stock pad or slim pad designed by our own uh, Mr. Chris Romanowski. And then for every student, two pair of yarn marimba mallets. We're gonna get an opportunity to really dive into four mallet technique. It doesn't matter if you have a keyboard at your house. We're gonna show you ways that you can practice your four mallet technique even without an instrument. All that said, guys, we are so excited to be your band directors this year. We can't wait to get back and make music in person again together. But for the time being, we believe that this remote learning music plan is gonna be a great one for us. Go Hawks. Thank you.